images they see of themselves and the people who claim to speak on their behalf. That's what we're discussing on We the People today. I want to start with Shah Rukh Khan. <coughs> Shah Rukh, My Name is Khan has been described by some as an important film, not just because of the circumstances in which it was, it finally ran to full houses, but because you as a Muslim in real life have played a Muslim character on screen who isn't in, afraid to embrace his religiosity and he's still a nice guy. We don't see too much of that in Hindi cinema, do we? The reason we do have caricatures, whether they are uh, Muslim or Hindus or even Christian for that matter, is uh, so that you know very quickly you understand this is where this person uh, uh, comes from, this is what it belongs to and quickly it is very important that we need to know his religion in this film. So those are characters that we do, we are actually, uh, uh, we are to be blamed for that, all of us, uh, filmmakers. It's a kind of shortcut. It's a shortcut that this is now a Christian. Hai. So, uh, Margaret, and she will come out of the church, or a Muslim, hai, Salim, and you know, he'll have a beard and he'll, and uh, it is not in any which way to say that it's a stereotype, it's just to uh, do it fast, okay? But uh, I, I think when people start making a film about a full, uh, uh, full character. I mean, it's not just uh, coming in between, like Say Khan was when Karan decided. My logic was, and I could be wrong because uh, I'm not a, uh, I don't have full knowledge of Islam or uh, being a Muslim, to be honest. But uh, the logic was that can we play him like we play a hero? We don't need to play the religious part of him as the hero. Let it be absolutely normal because I'm a Muslim, and uh, I don't wear it any other way. If you have a discussion on Islam, like all of us <coughs> will be able to tell you here, all of us agree that yes, we can clarify point of views about Islam, how much ever knowledge we have, depending on that. But uh, we have never really, really gone out and started stating that this religion uh, is good or bad or nice or fantastic. But and isn't there a defensiveness sometimes? Now, <coughs> lately, I think there is a defensiveness uh, that, uh, you know, everybody starts saying, uh, and that's what we're trying to explain through the film, that listen, we don't need to be defensive. Just be yourself, uh, be your religion, and be casual about it, normal about it, like you are in your houses. You don't need to really uh, prove to the outsider any other way except by explaining. But and there's that scene in the film, you do your namaz. And, and you do your namaz despite the fact that a lot of the others around you are saying, no, don't do this And at least I can't remember the last time I saw, uh, uh, you know, a hero who's also a namazi. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe not in India. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, But uh, to be really honest, as much as we know, namaz I was always taught, niyat se padhi jati. Uh, you have to believe in it yourself. Nobody can teach you. We are taught panch vak namaz padna zaruri hai. But not every Muslim follows it. Uh, somewhere down the line... Do you follow it? No, I, I'm not able to follow it. And I'm very honest about it. I would love to, uh, but I can't. But I think of Allah every moment of my life. So my logic is that let's play it like that. That see, if you are not doing it for any reason, if in this film, the scene that the couple is not doing it, and another scene is very beautiful, which says that Allah will understand. You don't have to wear the hijab. So God will understand if you are stressed right now. But uh, those who believe, go and do it, and it's absolutely all right. So we wanted it to be as normal without picking on the other character and saying, "Tum kyun nahi padhe namaz?" Ye khalat hai. It's okay. I understand. You're scared. Uh, you're defensive, you're worried right now to read namaz in front of people who you believe may not understand what you're doing or look down upon it or not rightly. But there's another character who says, but I think it's absolutely okay uh, mm. to go ahead and do it because niyat me meri is namaz padna hai. So I think I would say those are the teachings I believe in also, personally. In, in your actual life? In my actual life. I, I truly believe uh, that it is, uh, <coughs> my religion does define me, most certainly. I'm very proud to be a Muslim, but I, what people would say is I'm an easier going Muslim. I'm a moderate Muslim, uh, but I'm as Muslim as Muslim can be, to be really honest. <laughs> I guess moderate Muslim is yet another stereotype that the media made up, uh, the liberal media. Kabir Khan, you with the opposite argument, uh, which I find interesting, about saying that in a sense our cinema would have arrived when you can <coughs> have a regular hero who happens to be called Shah Rukh, who doesn't have to be this person who wears his religion on his sleeve. And we haven't kind of got to that yet, have we? No. Every time there's a Muslim character in a film, he's there because the plot <coughs> demands a Muslim to be in that story. I'm saying um, Dostana, John can be a Muslim character. The film remains exactly the same, not a iota changes, which is his name is Rizwan. I mean, could that have been? I totally could have been, but we didn't. 
and no one does. Nobody, they say he's right. And, and no one does. And, and that's no one the point. Does Why doesn't anybody? Go ahead. <laughs> Neither have I. I mean, even my films, uh, the, the yeah. protagonists have been Muslims because the story demanded it. But I'm saying that's the time when we'll actually be able to break out of stereotypes. The problem is right now, whenever we portray a minority, it's always a stereotype because that minority is his religious or her religious identity is playing a part in the story. We need to be able to slip in uh, other sort of religious uh, characters without having to deal with their religious identity. That's when we'll truly start breaking away from stereotypes. <coughs> but Alec, if I can ask you, is there a problem with that formulation? Because somehow in the way we all think, you're a liberal Muslim, uh, almost only if you're non-religious. Yeah. And the moment you say, you're immediately branded a conservative, almost a fundamentalist. Yeah, and the, the problem is that I think Islam is uh, misunderstood. And uh, two years ago, in fact, uh, this thing bothered me a great deal. And mm -hmm. I asked the uh, Maulanas and all the, the, the religious uh, leaders of Islam, what is it? Is Islam saying that we believe in violence? And this is the biggest point. And I was told on very good authority that no, Islam in fact means peace, the very word. It's like shalom in, in uh, Israel, which is used you know, in the Jewish system. And this means that in the Quran, that if you kill a single innocent person, it means that you're going against the Quran. And that's once, that was, once that was clear, I then said if so many fatwas have been passed yeah. by the religious heads of Islam, I then spoke to my friend Maulana Badni and I said, why can't you pass a fatwa saying that anyone who kills an innocent person is going against the Quran? And I must say very courageously, and he'll tell you more about it, he then devised a fatwa which was pronounced in Again, Delhi terrorism. in 2007. And the, uh, just to come back to your main, main point, which is... <coughs> You don't have to be a liberal anything to be accepted in society. Idea of God, and this is what's misunderstood in our country, that the idea of God, he is a God of love and peace, but and Alec, not a but God Alec, of violence. But Alec, nobody would disagree with you, and yet clearly it's not that simple. And, and there is a reason it's not that simple. And current. It's interesting that this is something that has obviously occupied you, you know, whether it was your previous film, Qurban, in which actually there is, a, there is an actual terrorist, a Muslim who takes to terrorism, or, you know, my name is Khan. Why, why is this such an abiding issue for you? I'll tell you, three years ago, <coughs> why, the reason I really made this film uh, was I was in New York and I was with six people. Uh, three of them were investment bankers, two of them Oxford graduates doing very well in, in New York.